Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, as you see, another engine has arrived. This is another eBay engine, uh, Commodore Vanderbilt, of course, uh, originally a wind-up. And I picked this up for $10, and uh, it got here this afternoon. I pulled the wind-up motor out of it, and I dropped a uh, Marx Double Reduction 400 motor into it. And this is going to be its first trip around the track. So I ran it on the bench. The uh, motor is in decent shape. I've bypassed the E unit, so it runs forward only. And this engine is in really decent condition. There's no damage to it at all. And uh, what I do on these, is just like I did on that one, is I use epoxy putty to fill in the slot on the top and the hole in the side for the winding key. Uh, sand it down nice and smooth, repaint it, and you have a brand new if you want to use the word, engine. Uh, you can get a really nice custom uh, Commodore Vanderbilt for less than $20. So $10 for the wind-up. Uh, basically just bought it for the shell. And uh, dropped a 400 motor into it, and the machine or the engine is up and running. So let me turn on my transformer. And this is its first trip around the track, pulling 16 Marks cars. So, as you see, well worth $10. So it only takes a few minutes to do this uh, conversion. And all you need to do is take the wind-up motor out, pull the front crossbar off of it, put it on uh, whatever motor you want to install. Uh, virtually any motor on a Marx engine will fit this uh, frame or this body. And uh, just swap out that front crossbar, uh, put in the screws, you have an instant electric Commodore Vanderbilt for ten dollars so been buying the 400s finding all the ones that don't run buying them cheap just to get the motors out of them and then uh, repairing all these so that is a wind-up conversion there the red one over there is a wind-up conversion uh, the black one right there is a wind-up conversion and the red one there is a wind-up conversion so you can get these things really really cheap I haven't paid more than ten dollars for one of these things and they run really well and the only thing they don't have are the handrails uh, it is in uh, every other way exactly like the electric Commodore Vanderbilt but the nice thing about these is they are much much earlier these are wind-ups so you're looking at 1932 1935 something like that so this uh, engine is almost a hundred years old and you're looking at 85 years something like that and uh, with just a bit of work and uh, you respray them if you want to refinish them you can leave them original if you want to do that here's a uh, mercury uh, this this one's completely original I haven't done anything to it even has the original motor in it but uh, I've been concentrating on these wind-ups simply because you can get them so cheap and the electric motors fit them. It only takes a few minutes to retrofit this uh, into an electric locomotive. So I just wanted to do a video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.